Hello everybody, thank you for joining me again today. I'm Lee from thecraftyspark.co.uk and today's video is a little something different for you. Oops, I just had to get down off my little stool. I was standing in to see, to see what I was doing on the video and make sure it was all okay. But today's video is all about the catalogues. Yes, I know that might sound a bit of a strange one, but quite a few of you that watch my videos have seen I actually bind my catalogue so that I can flip the pages nice and easy. So what I thought I'd do today is actually show you how I do it and I'm going to run a little uh what would you call it not a competition as such more of a more of a just get involved and join me kind of thing all right because well actually i'll tell you about it in a minute yeah i'll tell you in a minute keep you guessing <laughs> so <laughs> let me show you how i do it now i've already gone ahead and done some preparation because it does take a little while it's not something you can do within a matter of minutes so I've got some ready done a bit of prep but I am going to show you how I actually do it so that you know what you're doing and you can do it yourself all right now the first thing you're going to need is a catalogue obviously the you're also going to need some window sheet you're going to need hang on let me just bend down here and get one A square well not actually a square it's not going to be square because we're going to cut it down but you're actually going to need a piece of this gray chipboard colored cardstock and this is what comes in the back of the packs of paper so when you get a pack of paper I'm um, just trying to find one Hi, minute. oh mine are all opened and emptied but yeah when you get a pack oh there's one hang on there we go look this is some of the the corrugated paper that we have on the back is always one of these really thick pieces of chipboard and that's used to protect your card or your paper or whatever it is that you've got being sent out to you so you want one of these and then you also need some paper in a design that you like all right so my one that i'm using at the moment has got this one on the back which is actually one of our old designer series papers but the one I'm showing you today has got this one on the back and this is one of the exclusive limited time designer series papers that came with celebration all right now it's very simple what you actually do first thing you will need though is a really good sturdy cutter trimmer blade knife mega strong scissors you know that kind of thing all right because you need to cut this and this is pretty thick in fact this one is really thick let me find a thinner one um yeah that one's a bit thinner that one will do it's just for me to show you i used one of the really thick chunky ones when i did the the cover for the one that i'm doing today but this is just to show you what to do with it all right now i have got one of the super duper unfortunately no longer available stumping up guillotine trimmers um i think you can well obviously you can get quite a lot of things like it still but this particular one it's my baby and i love it and the day it finally gives out on me will be a very very bad day but anyway <laughs> enough about that right what i've done hang on let me get my book out there we go the back cover needs to be the width of your catalogue plus your tabs all right now you can make tabs or you can buy tabs 
see most of mine have made but that one is a bought one i'll put the link on the blog post that actually um I, no it won't be on the blog post because this isn't going on my blog actually or shall i put it on the blog uh yeah i'll put it on the blog the link on the blog post that's the one i'm after yep i'll put the link of where you can get these little tabs from on my blog post if you aren't able to make them yourself all right but what we're going to do first of all when you measure your catalogue and this is where you have to be a little bit careful you have to allow for a piece to be sliced off the side and your tabs to be put along the edge okay so what i always do is i cut my catalogue to a width of eight and a quarter then I add my tab okay so as you're going to be probably I guess using the tabs that I suggest to go with the one we're doing today you need your piece of very super thick cardstock to be how big is that eight and is it eight and three quarters I can't see properly anyway let's get the ruler out That'd be easier, won't it? Um, just over eight and three quarters. So if we went for, say, eight and seven eighths, maybe just under eight and seven eighths. Yeah, eight and seven eighths. That'll be all right. So that's the first thing you need to do. You need to cut your nice, chunky, thick piece of card to eight and seven eighths. Now, I'm trying to stay in the camera here because as you've probably noticed I've got the camera really high today that's so that you can see everything that's going on because where I'm using quite big bits of equipment at the moment I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing so I'm going to cut this thick piece of card to eight and seven eighths there we are and then I'm going to cut the length to 11 inches I do believe yeah <laughs> just double checking so cut that to 11 inches all right all right let's move that out of the way now these extra pieces you don't really need unless you like keeping all of your scraps i do tend to keep a lot of mine but not all of them now for this we need to cover it so hang on let me just get some paper out we'll go for ah i can't get it out there it is all right this is what i'm going for so this is still the limited edition paper but i'm going to use the yellow one apart from instead of rather the blue one because it's got that lovely marbling on the back all right but i quite like this watercolor effect so this is what i'm going to be using okay so if we move that out of the way for a minute now this part is actually very simple all you need to do whoops is first off we're just going to cover this piece of paper this piece of card okay and i'm going to use my fast views for doing this because i need to make sure i've got something super super strong that's not going to give out on me all right so i'm lining it up in the center there's no real sort of extra super duper technique to this all right just line it up in the center and then with your fast views or a very strong tape go all the way around the edge now this edge where you've got this narrower piece you need to make sure you are right on that edge otherwise it's not going to stick as i've just noticed there uh, that's better yeah that's it that went right to the edge okay now so stay lined up nice and straight and then we're going to start off we're just going to fold in that corner all right and then just fold it down with your finger fold in the next one so basically all you are doing is you're covering your piece of card now if you actually make books 
and you make your own covers on your books you'll probably know how to do this however in fact you might even do it a different way because there are a couple of methods of doing it but this is the way that I've done it so this is <laughs> this is the way I'm showing it right we are then going to put a bit more tape on those corners just to make sure everything is nicely covered because the last thing you want is for this tool suddenly come popping off at you because that just won't work at all all right so now we've got all of that on we're just going to whoops start up here shall we so you can see what i'm doing sliding all over the place we're just going to fold it over and round okay just like that now i'm going to fold those ones those narrow ends in first and then i'll go to the the wider end the wider sides rather they're not ends are they they're sides these are ends they are sides oops i can't pick it up so i've not actually scored any of this all i've done is just folded it you could score it if you wanted to entirely up to you really might be worth maybe thinking about scoring these edges i suppose because then you might get a nice a need to finish i don't know hmm, not sure but i did then use my bone folder whoops just to do a bit of squishing because i just want to make sure that these folds are flat because these folds here that i'm going on now oops are actually going to be underneath some of the other paper so I just need to so you can use your bone folder to actually get those edges going nicely as well those corners rather not edges they're corners aren't they <laughs> now oh dear it makes my hands hurt even more doing this <laughs> maybe not the best time for me to be doing it as I've got a bad hand but hey never mind right so we've done that bit the next thing you need to do is actually cut a piece to go on top now if you put your ruler back across you don't want to be that exact width all right because then you risk going over on the edge so just go slightly shorter so we know it measures eight and seven eighths so if you went to say eight and a half eight and five eighths yeah that's what we do we do eight and five eighths by that should be ten and seven eighths i think ten and a quarter that's what we do right let me get my so we'll go to eight and five eighths so i've gone a quarter of an inch narrower and ten and a quarter so a quarter of an inch shorter all right there we go and this one you're just going to stick straight on there like that okay so once that's all stuck down whoops, you may find i'm not actually going to stick this piece only because it will, will be here forever <laughs> you may find that you've got some sticky bits just hanging out on these corners just dab it with a bit of talcum powder a bit of baby powder works a treat and it's easily sorted all right so that's how we're going to actually have our finished piece all right so this is going to be the outside so this is the nice bit that you see and then any rough edges being the inside all right so you won't even see okay 
now we've done that see I took a bit more time on this one and actually measured it very very carefully and very precisely <laughs> like you do when you're doing it for somebody else right the next thing that you need to do is cut your window sheet to the same size as your backing all right now this actually isn't window sheet I'll be very honest and I'll tell you the truth it's not window sheet the reason this isn't window sheet is simply because I ran out <laughs> so and I really wanted to get this done for you and my new um, plates arrived for my Big Shot Plus and the plastic that they were in is very very thick and sturdy and I thought oh that would make an ideal cover for a catalogue so <laughs> that's what this is all right now what I've done is I tore all the pages out of the book in chunks all right and once I tore them out I then trimmed each page to measure eight and a quarter and just double check the length of 11 inches all right so every page was eight and a quarter by 11 inches and then what I did was quite simply when you open up your catalogue you will see all the different sections so I just wrote out a tab for each section stuck it on all right now these tabs are actually quite good they're they are self-adhesive tabs so they stick on quite well but you could use your envelope punch board and actually make the tabs which is what I did on my catalogue all right so I'm just going to finish off because what I'm going to do you may have seen or you, you may not I don't know but you may have noticed that when I actually look at my catalogue I go flicking through it and then I actually go to the back where I've got the celebration booklet and the spring summer catalogue and I did actually have the autumn winter one in here as well but I took it out the other day so we're going to put this one in as well we're going to put the spring summer one in too which I've got right here so I'm going to bring my nice big whoops my nice big guillotine back in again and this one is actually quite easy to do because obviously it's not stick so I'm going to open it out whoops slide that under there and I'm just going to chop to eight and a quarter now when you're cutting can you see how I'm holding it this up can you see that on the camera I hope so is that better can you see how I'm holding it round hold your um catalogue round a bit if you can because when you lay it down flat it pulls the pages out and you end up with an un uneven edge so if you're a bit of a fuss part like me and you like everything nice and neat and tidy <laughs> hold your pages round before you cut and then you'll be all right okay right, so that's one lot oops that's another one she says hang on let me do that one because that one looks like it's going a little bit wonky oh it's the arm oh, that's wonky hold on uh, where are we so eight and a quarter there we go and then now there are lots and lots and lots of different binding machines on the market now the one I use is the cinch and it's actually made by we are memory keepers and it's this whoops lovely great big contraption here i'm just looking in the camera to make sure you can see it properly all right it's very large and the way it works it's quite easy you see those knob bits there you just pull those out dependent on what holes you want where simple so this is what I'm actually going to use now 
there is this one this one does round holes there's also another one the cinch does that does the cinch makes rather that does square holes um there's another one made by zutter the zutter bind oh had one of those in the past that was quite good but the reason i've got this one is simply because it's nice and big and i do quite a lot of things for my children with it and when you've got lots of things going on for your kiddies it's always useful to have the equipment to do it with isn't it so quite simply if you are using this one you make sure you have everything nice and straight and tight against your hole punch pull your handle down and you have your holes do that again so make sure you're all nice and straight and tidy pop it in punch your holes now because this the catalogue is 11 inches in length with the with this piece of equipment whoops it actually tells you here if you if you've got 11 inches you pull peg 10 all right so we do i hope you can see this i'm not sure if you can or not but you just pull it out can you see that i can't see i can't see in the camera the camera's too high and i'm too short <laughs> so anyway pull out number 10 <laughs> And then you just need to put your bits and pieces back in again. Just put down the stop catch. Whoops. On the side, it just keeps everything together a bit easier. Make sure everything's where it should be. Punch that one. And then we just do the last little lot. Punch that one all right and you're done right now we're going to bind it so this is where i need my binding wire which i did get out there it is and you need to make sure you've got the right number of holes for your wires so how many do i need on here Um, looks like I've got one yeah just one too many now what I'm actually going to do you know I mentioned earlier in the video I said that I was going to do something a little bit different well I decided I've never actually run one before I've never done one before I, I don't know even if this is the way to do it but I'm gonna do it <laughs> What I am actually going to do is a little giveaway. Hang on, just got to get this in the right place. So that's got to go in there. That's got to go around there. That's it. Yeah, I thought I'd do a giveaway. Now, like I say, I've never actually done a giveaway before. But there's a first time for everything, isn't there? So what I'm going to do for the giveaway is... Oops, hang on, what am I doing here? So I'm just trying to work out which way around this has got to go. Um, it's got to go... Goodness, I've got myself in a bit of a muddle now. Hang on, hang on, there we go. Can't think and talk, that's what it is. <laughs> I was never very good at that when I was at school. Oh, never mind. Right, let's go on to what I was saying. Right, what I'm going to do is I am going to underneath this video i'm going to put a link to my facebook page and on my facebook page you will need to find the post that goes with this video all right it may be hidden it may be in your face kind of easy to find not quite sure to be honest but what i want you to do when you find the post is leave me a comment tell me what you think tell me if you like it tell me if you like having the catalogue 
tell me if you like my videos tell me whether you think my blog's good you know just just leave me a nice comment let me know what you think and then at the end of march so on the 31st of march greenwich bean time time i am going to choose one random person from all the comments on the post now actually that's not strictly true I'm not going to choose I'm going to use one of the online tools so that it's not a biased choice but I am going to choose one person who has left me a comment now you, it doesn't matter where in the world you are you could be in the UK you could be in Australia America Canada anywhere in the world really but wherever you are if you leave me a comment and your name is chosen you will actually receive this bound catalogue and I will send it through the post to you at no charge so you will actually have yourself a really nice bound catalogue with a nice plastic cover and a nice sturdy back and a copy of the spring summer catalogue as well what do you think would you like that do you know what oh no because i was just about to say i'll put the celebration brochure in there as well but i won't put the celebration one in there because it'll be finished by then won't it <laughs> that'll be silly <laughs> no i won't put the celebration one in there it will just be this catalogue with a spring summer one in the back and as i said i will send it anywhere in the world so when you finish watching this video have a look in the um bump bit underneath it you will see the link to my facebook page i'm not going to make it obvious you have to find it i'm going to make you work for it a little bit <laughs> you find the link to my facebook page and then go onto my page and have a look through and see if you can when you find the post that actually goes with this video you'll be able to see it i promise i'm not going to hide it too too difficult it'll be somewhere near the top obviously but when you find the post leave me a comment and then out of all the comments that i'm left we'll pick one person and i will send you this lovely bound catalogue with all your tabs on quite exciting isn't it <laughs> okay well i hope you enjoyed that and if you don't receive this catalogue through the post you can also order them from me that's not a problem in fact anybody that orders through me if they i haven't already sent them a catalogue i will send them one anyway but it won't be nicely bound like this okay so anything else you need just drop me a line visit my website www.thecraftyspark.co uk and i will see you again very soon take care